Falcon. Punch! Come on! Yes, show me your moves. Kitsuart. Hello, fellow Kitsunis. My name is Kitsuart. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add um, assets to your VTuber or any other model you can you have that's pretty much complete. So, um, yeah, let's get started here. So, you go to General, and um, as always, get rid of this cube right here. Um, also, if you have done the Master Sword tutorial and made your own Master Sword, um, you're welcome to use that. You can use that as your as your asset for your VTuber for this um, lesson right here. Um, if you didn't do the Master Sword tutorial, then um, I guess you can probably find some other assets online. I, I'm just not sure <laughs> where to look at. But yeah, you're going to have to like search for another video about that. But for now, um, we're going to be using the Master Sword that I created in the tutorial. So you can just like watch the video, follow those steps on making the sword, and then you can actually um, add it as an asset to your VTuber. Okay, so the first step here, um, as my previous video, as I showed in my previous video, um, you need to have the VRM add-on. So go to VRM. You're gonna import a VRM right here. We're gonna go use the Neko girl from my previous lesson here. I had the sharp teeth. Okay, there she is. And then I'm gonna go to import again. So you need to save the master sword as an FBX file. So you pretty much just go to um, export as FBX when you finish the master sword. So you're gonna turn it into an FBX. And then you go to, um, so once you turn the master sword into an FBX model, you go to import FBX, search for the master sword. I got the master sword right here. And there it is. Master sword is inside there. Um, the Skavar, <laughs> I don't know how the Skavar got on there. So um, we're gonna lead that thing. So um, if you had done the Master Sword, then um, if you've done everything co everything correctly or close to it, you are able to actually model the Skavar on your own since it comes with a reference. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so back to this. Um, we're gonna turn this on right here for the color. So now the Nekuguro has color. And then, to get the Master Sword ready, we need to scale it. So we need to rotate it. So rotate it here, press Control to rotate by fives. We need a 90 degree angle. There we go. And then I'm gonna press S and shrink the sword down. We're gonna have to bring the sword up here. We want it to be the size, the size that fits our Nekuguro here. Okay, we're not gonna have Bard, and don't worry, she's not gonna get sliced. <laughs> the sword only slices evil. It will not slight goodness. Just like this cat girl here. She's a good cat girl. Isn't she? Well, the Master Sword's not gonna hurt her or anything. <laughs> okay, so just put it on her back, adjust it. Just put the Master Sword on her back, adjust it as much as you can here to make it look good on her. Something's gonna be holding it, so um, you know, maybe she's using some sort of magic to put that sword on her back. Move it a little bit on the back as well. You want to have a good look at the master sword there, and then we get that in the back right there. Okay, it looks like it's like it looks good on her now. Um, and before you do, um, so now this is not gonna be enough. So you get the master sword up here. So now we're gonna have to get the um, let's see okay this thing came with the master sword so the things that came with the sword delete them the camera the lights we don't need those things delete them we don't need the lights and the camera okay and then we go to the armature here so you need to select the master sword and the armature so press select the master sword by clicking it and then control click the armature and now you selected the armature. Let's go to here, make it transparent so we can see through it. Okay, 
we need to see the bones inside our neck over here. So you can see these bones right here are probably the eyes. This one right here is probably the head. So that's the one that we need. But it's not going to be enough just clicking on it. So we're going to go to uh, pose mode and then click one of the bones. You can see that the sword is still selected. So you go right here and start moving it around. You can see it actually works. This bone controls the neck. This bone controls the head, pretty much, not the neck. It controls the head. So, um, we want the back. So we want the one that's controlling the, the back here. Yeah, it's so right here. That's the one that we want. So we select that one, and then you press Control P, and this will parent the object to anything you want here. So we want to parent it to the bone. So the Master Sword is going to follow the movements of Bone. So now you can click away here. We can get out of Object Mode. Back to Object Mode here. And then we go back to Pose Mode. Go back to Pose Mode. Select the same bone you selected before. And then move it around. And you see the sword is now following that bone. It's following the movements of that bone pretty much. So it's pretty much, you know, you have a child and you're holding that child's hand. That's what parent means. The Master Sword is holding the hand of this bone. So, pretty much the sword is the child and the bone is the parent. But when you select the sword, I'm gonna select the sword here, and you're gonna move it around so you can see the sword moves everywhere, but the bone doesn't. Because you know, the child, you need to control your child. So, if you're the, you're the parent, you have a child, and you're not around. The child is just going to go wherever wherever he or she wants. The child is just going to run around in circles, do whatever he wants. And the parent is like, you have to put the child in his or her place. So, pretty much that's what's happening here. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, that's just to give you a better understanding on what parenting is on 3D modeling. And before, we are not done here. Um, if, you export, if you export as a VRM right now, um, this sword is probably not going to be in the exact place you put it. It's probably going to be floating somewhere around on top of the character or I don't know. So if you don't do this, that's so the sword is not going to be on the right position. So you just got to select the sword and then you're going to go to object up here. Click apply. Click location. So this um, applies location. So you can see the location is now back to zero. Rotations and scales are still different here. So we've got to make sure these are exactly at zero Because um, the Whatever program you put this in it's gonna detect those numbers and it's gonna set to those locations So you have to apply each location rotation and scale here All right, there we go. And this is normal too it has to be one so it detects that as its original shape original rotation and original location. If you don't do that, the BC face or any other between program will detect those numbers on here and put them in the exact place, which is pretty much away from our character. Okay, so once that's done, you can see our Neko girl has the master sword on her back now. So now what you must do is export the character as a VRM. And so we're gonna put it back here. And then I'm just gonna name it Neko Girl with Sword. Okay. And now we export this model. And then we go to BC Face. Okay, so now that you're in BC Face, do the same thing as you did in the previous video. So you know, add uh, add a character, and then search for the character that you just exported here which is Neko Girl with Sword right here. Then open it up, select it, and you can see right there, our character has the, the Master Sword right on her back. Now you click Start, and there she is. So yeah, there she is. She has the Master Sword right on her back. Um, oh wait, <laughs> I forgot to do something here. Uh, let's go. Okay, my camera took a while to actually turn on here, so now 
I'm actually moving. And you can see the Master Sword is moving along with the body now. So I can start doing movement range and the Master Sword will actually follow. So yeah, you can see there, the Master Sword is actually following my the character's movements. So it may not be like that perfect because it's following the top of the body here. Um, it's pretty much going to be doing that. So it, that's pretty much as the what we want here. It's as, as close as it can get to something realistic. Um, but yeah, and you can see the hair goes through it. But you know, that's how far technology has gone at this point, and that's as far as my knowledge of B-tubing is right now. <laughs> but you know, if you want to add B-tuber assets to your character, just like this, then yeah, just following this tutorial can actually work. It can work for armor. It can work for having something on your hand, like you can pretty much put the sword on your hand as well, but since I don't have any um, motion capture for the hands or I don't, know, I don't know what it's called, I do not have that motion hand sensor thing, so yeah. Alright, so in this video you have learned how to add some assets to your VTuber here. So yeah, just follow these steps. And again, it can work for armor, it can work for having things on your hands, it can, you can pretty much add anything all over your body as long as it's connected to the bones. So yeah, it's all, and that's all you, that's all you gotta do. So you can also pretty much do things like this as well. Yes, go Falcon! <laughs> my mouth, my mouth is not moving, but yeah, <laughs> I created this on my own. But yeah, that'll that'll be all. So um, <laughs> let me go back to this one. Well, yeah, there you go. That's how to add assets to your VTuber. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends. Feel free to follow me in my other social media. And I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. That was not the right one I wanted to. That one right there. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, that was like a curly one. <laughs> Come on! Oh, Falcon!